Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob buy the party hat, unlock the secret aquamarine enhancement hockey, and reach max level. But before we start guys, since it's Christmas season, I decided to touch some grass, went to the nearest supermarket, bought some food and drinks and some stuff, and share it with the kids of our local school since it's their Christmas party. Check that out guys. We got some future superheroes in front of us. And this surprise won't be possible without your support guys. So again, congratulations to us. Back to the video. With the actors, slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. So I've been reading comments and everyone wants me to make a what to max video using confettis. For those who don't know, I already made a noob to pro video, yes, and that is level 1 to 700. So for the first C part of this video, it will be fast. So at 100 confettis, I decided to buy the spin fruit. Guys, this one is really good for grinding for those who don't know because of its skills. Almost all is multi-target. So first off, the bandits. For our first skill, the Razor Wind. As you can see, it's really good for grinding at low level. There you go. Target level here is level 15. Next up, guys, the Fountain City. You're gonna learn the Galley Pirates. Guys, no damage, don't worry. As long as you do the wall strat. Also, you need to use the combat for initial damage, guys. Just be patient. Last hit him using the Razor Wind. And that will be 10 level ups and 18 mastery. For me, this is one of the most efficient way to grind levels. At this stage of the game, guys, we will unlock the Tornado Assault, that one. We will grind here until level 60, okay? Oh, also the Helicopter Flight, there you go. Next up is the Desert. So there are two mobs here. First up, the Desert Bandits. Again, they're easy to defeat, same bandits, <laughs> just with the Desert. We're gonna do this until level 75. After that, Desert Officers. Same strategy, you can do high ground but no need guys. Level 90, we are leaving this area. After that, Frozen Village and off to the Ability Teacher. Guys, make sure to buy the Armament because we will be needing that later for the Aquamarine Enhancement. Back to grinding, Snow Bandits. You're gonna grind these mobs until level 105. I think at 105, it is now time to change our fruit to make things more exciting. So let's head to the middle town. There you go, and let's check the list of the fruits. Guys, check that out, Light Fruit, it's very good. Pair it up with a two times experience and your grinding will be really fast. So at 105, we're gonna defeat the Yeti. There you go, guys, we have a sword, right? Light sword plus a Z skill, so everything will be easy. Target level, level 130. Next up, guys, is the Marine Fortress. As you can see, I'm making it fast. Target is the Vice Admiral, and this is how you defeat him, Wall Strat. Jump here, left click, and that's it, guys. There you go. Very easy, guys. Okay. We will unlock our X skill here. Okay, there you go. Target level is level 220, guys. Again, server hop is the key. Next up, the prison. Wall strat, again, is our strat here. The warden will be no match for you because of the wall strat. There you go. And the chief warden, guys. I'm just showing you the skills, but if you're gonna ask me, just use your left clicks, okay? The swan is still no match for you, as long as you do the wall strat. Target level here is level 350. After that, guys, again, let's change our fruit because that is too OP. So for our next fruit, I decided to get the chop fruit. There you go. Okay, next up, magma village. So guys, target is the magma admiral. But if you want, you can grind masteries on the military soldiers. Because you are immune to sword, right? Okay, so you can grind masters there fast. So you're gonna grind here until level 382. After this one, next island is the underwater city. First, we're gonna start with the fishman warriors. Because why not, guys? You're immune to sword attacks, right? So they can damage you. There you go. Also, let's not forget, we can also buy boosts. Yes, in the confetti or the party shop. So let's buy a boost in order for us to grind faster. There you go. Okay, so let's go back to grinding. There you go. Guys, nice target level here is 425. After that, next up, Fishman Lord. Strategy is the wall strat again, which means this grinding part will be very easy. Because you can see. Okay, so we're gonna grind here until level 458. 
And after this, we're gonna check our stats. Okay, here we go, our stats. 175 mil defense, block fruits 1024. Next up, Skylands. Target, the God's Guards. Why Gamer Nom? Because again, no damage. They're using sword. Even if your enemy has hockey, as long as you're using chop fruit, very easy. So guys, we spread 500, just use the stone strat. How do you do that? Just stay here in the stone. He cannot damage you. Did you see that, guys? Bazooka, no damage, and you can attack him. Okay, moving on at level 566, I decided to change fruit. So guys, I decided to pick ice fruit, there you go, which is really good, right? So at level 637, we will leave the whisper. There you go. And head to the Fountain City and defeat Gali Pirates. So here guys, we are immune to enemies that has no hockey, whether they use a sword or gun. Guys, before we leave this sea, our goal is to get the party hat. Yes, at level 700, we will search for it. I mean, wait for it in the party shop. There you go. Guys, this is essential for us to grind really fast. Guys, this one costs 750 with ferries. So let's buy it. <laughs> And after this, guys, we will grind. But I decided to buy the light fruit again so we can transfer from island to island to grind confettis really fast. Okay, so guys, finally, we were able to catch the newest hockey in stock. There you go, guys, for 1,000 confettis. Let's buy the Akomer enhancement. Okay, so now we finally, guys, we can go back to grinding. So guys, again, Gali Pirates is our target using our Light Fruit. So, so we're gonna grind here until we reach level 793. Make sure to do the Pirate Quest. And after that, head to the Middle Town. Look for the Experience Captain. And we are now heading to the Second Sea. Okay, guys. Guys, sadly, the event ended when I decided to reach max level here. No more confettis. But guys, at least we were able to get the Party Hat and the hockey right so we're gonna continue this one to max level and as a twist we're going to change fruits every 200 levels so are you ready guys okay guys so first one pirates so as head start we are going to use light fruit so there are no damage which means it's very easy here so at level 900 we are going to change fruit hopefully we get a new and good one so here it is blast fruits dealer cousin Okay, okay, spike fruit, not that good, but we're going to use this for grinding. There we go. So guys, check the mastery. One, right? So after defeating this mobs with the help of the party hat, check it out guys, 50 masteries, which means we will unlock two more skills, meaning grinding will be a lot easier and faster. We will also unlock your final skill, the V skill, the spike barrage. Let me show it to you. Here it is. There you go. Again, leaving this area at 925. Guys, for the stats, okay, I'm gonna show it to you. Melee is 325 as well as defense. Blast fruits 2125. Next up is the green zone. Our target is Fajita or Fujitora. He is a gravity fruit user. Anyways, good luck on fighting him. This is the fastest way because you're gonna do server hop. Check that out, guys. Ooh, the damage is really high, but we can beat him using the spike fruit, okay? Okay, so guys, while well, grinding, again, server hop, which means we are in a public server. Check this out. And ice versus Buddha fruit PvP. So guys, who do you think will win? For me, as long as I damage Fajita, everything is good. My target level here is level 1000. There you go. Thank you, bro. But he killed me. <laughs> Anyways, we're going back to grinding. Snow Mountains is our next target. The Snow Troopers, guys. Again, using Spike Fruit is really good. We're gonna reach level 1,100 here and change fruit. Finally, guys, we're gonna change fruit and hopefully we get a really good one. Hmm, maybe Venom, right? Venom is really good. Shadow. So let's go. Okay, there we go. Ah! Guys! No! No! Diamond Fruit is one of the worst fruits here. Axis <laughs> Skill can only hit two mobs. But don't worry, guys. We have the party hat so this will help us unlock skills really fast okay so we will unlock the diamond hall this one there you go and also the solar flare this one guys there you go okay 
So next up is the hot and cold area. And the boss here is Smoke Admiral. We're gonna do server up here. Guys, for me, he's the weakest boss in the second C. And this shows how weak this diamond fruit is. Because guys, I, I think it took me like 50 seconds just to defeat this one. Three skills for damage only. First one is Encrust, right? Also, it has a slow cooldown, which will make your grinding really slow. For those who don't know, this is the fruit of Jozu, right? He's one of the commanders of the Whitebeard Pirates, one of the strongest crews in One Piece, so it really needs a revamp. This is too weak, or maybe it's just the user, I'm just weak. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna grind here until level 1250. Next up is the Cursed Ship. So here, we only have one target and that is the ship deckhands. We're gonna do wall strat. Guys, check this out. Just two skills. One diamond hole and solar flare. Check that out guys, very easy. 50 levels here and we're gonna change fruits. Okay, so that is level 1300. So again, for our next fruit, we got a uh, jump fruit. Hmm. Actually, this is not bad. We're gonna eat this one. Let's disable the transformation first. There you go. So we're gonna continue defeating the ship deckhands. Don't worry, as long as we use the wall strat, everything will be easy. So we're gonna grind here until we reach level 1394. And after that, we're gonna leave this area. Guys, check this out while I was flying. It really looks good. Check the scenery. <laughs> Next up, guys, is the ice castle. Our target, the Arctic Warriors. Guys, no damage. Why? Because these mobs are using sword. Anyway, I have two choices for you. Stay here, yes, you're gonna stay here until you reach level 1500 or at level 1400, start defeating the Ice Admiral. You're gonna use Wall Strat, don't worry, that is effective. So I'm gonna show it to you. So first damage him, lure him here. So guys, check this out. After you damage him, use your skills, back. Use your skills again. After that, create distance, you will get hit. But that is not enough to kill you. There you go. Back, okay, you will get hit and attack, okay? So that's it guys, you're gonna reach level 1500 and after that guys, we are now ready to go to the third C. But before that, let's change fruit. Guys, if you're gonna ask me, I want control. Oh no. <laughs> guys, Falcon, this one's really hard. Let's grind some masteries first because we're gonna fight Indra, right? Okay, and after that, you will ask us to go to the green zone and talk to Mr. Captain and finally guys, third C, target the pirate millionaires. Okay, so we're gonna defeat this one at a time. Guys, don't do this. Don't use Falcon Fruit here. Even if you unlock all the skills, still it's really hard to grind with this fruit. So again, I suggest don't use this. We're gonna leave this area at 1550 and start defeating the stone, the boss in this island. He is the same, almost the same as Whisper, so easy to defeat. There you go. Our target level is 1675. Next is the Hydra Island. Technique here guys, we're gonna wall strat the island empress. And finally, we are going to change fruits when you reach level 1700. Yes guys, finally. <laughs> so off to the Turtle Island, to the mansion, and let's talk to the Black Fruits cousin dealer. Oh, Spring Fruit! Guys, no more, no more. I will wait for two hours. <laughs> but let's eat this string fruit first. Okay, so two hours later. There you go. Guys, finally, quake fruit. Not bad. So yeah, we're gonna use this one. And we're gonna defeat the female islanders to get masteries, okay? So we're gonna grind masteries here. And after that, back to the island empress. Again, beware of bounty hunters or some other players just want to also defeat the Island Empress. So check this out. We defeated it and he started attacking me. So I decided to fight him, this Ice Fruit user. Guys, check this out. He uses E-Claw, Ice Fruit, and also Kabucha. <laughs> check that out, guys. And how about us? Using Quake Fruit and Combat. So we are at a disadvantage here. But guys, uh, yeah, we were able to fight him. Kind of long fight. But in the end, guys, sadly, he run. Check this out, guys. He run. I don't know why. There you go. So he's the portal. So I guess we're lucky he got tired, right? <laughs> so at 1,750, 
we will unlock the dual tsunami there you go wait for it there you go we will head to the great tree and start defeating the kilo admiral so guys again with this fruit all skills unlock very easy target level here is 1800 again dual tsunami there you go after this we are heading to the floating turtle not to get fruits but to grind so our target is the fishman captains another dual tsunami <laughs> there you go again even if they're fishman they can still be damaged by the tsunami there you go so guys we're gonna change fruits at level 1900 so guys what will we get let's find out go yes finally guys magma fruit one of the best fruits if not the best fruit for grinding so guys as this is a logian elemental fruit check this out no more damage inflicted by the fishman captain so we're gonna grind here really fast finally guys this one is really good which means our grinding will be really fast from now on magma floor one of the best f skills for damaging target level is 2055 after this we are heading towards the next island actually this is the second to the last island that island is the hunted castle so our target reborn skeletons don't worry this mobs don't have hockey so we're gonna stay here guys keep on grinding we're still gonna change fruits yes and if you're wondering what level that level is level 2100 yes we're gonna change fruits fruit at level 2100 guys let's check this out chop fruit is good but we're done with it right so we're just gonna awaken the first skill of the magma fruit right the z skill and i asked my friend to carry me <laughs> but guys i did the last hit on the boss there you go and finally oh by the way check this out guys after awakening the z skill we unlock lots of titles check that out <laughs> anyway guys all mobs can be killed by just two or three skills using this one so guys let's head to the sea of treats first target guys peanut scouts until 2200 z skill and v skill check this out boom okay next up cookie crafters until 2300 one z skill maybe one c skill and v skill yes a total of three skills to defeat them very easy why because the cooldown of these skills really fast and last but not the least coco warriors until 2400 check this out two skills only z skill and v skill there you go guys again that's just two skills so you're gonna grind here until you reach level 2400 and guys that's it for this video again i hope that you enjoyed this one to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer nom and we've reached max level Gamer Nom out.